All right, welcome back to Marketing Tools and Tech. Today, I'm gonna to share with you how to create a webinar for free. All right, we are ready to get started. I am going to uh, go ahead and pop over to the website, but before I get there, just letting you know once again that we're gonna do three things today, which is create the landing page, I link the subscribers to email service provider and on my case I'm using ConvertKit and then start inviting people and I'll show you how easy it is to do that and how you can create your webinar for free now the first thing that you're going to need is to create an actual landing page now you can do this with a couple different services you've got you know your WordPress blog you can use whatever landing page creator that you have what I really like to use is ClickFunnels I'm an affiliate for it I use it for my business and it makes it really easy to create a landing page page not only that but I can share with you the landing page that I actually use which is what I'm gonna do so what I did was I went ahead and logged myself out so I could use this special share link that I'm gonna provide for you what happens when you go to the special share link you'll see a video that automatically starts playing and it'll say hey Letitia has invited you to start a 14-day free trial so if you don't have a landing page software already you're definitely going to need one and I recommend that you use ClickFunnels. This is going to give you the opportunity to get it for free for the first 14 days. What it'll do is on this page, you can actually preview, which I'm gonna show you uh, how we're gonna edit these, but you'll get a chance to just preview those pages, okay? And it shows you how to drag and drop. So what you're gonna do there is obviously you'll create an actual um, login and then you'll click start your 14 day free trial. So since I'm actually already a ClickFunnels user, obviously this is the funnel that I'm sharing, I'm just gonna go ahead and log in and show you how we go ahead and start editing this. So I'm just gonna open a new tab for this. And it looks like it's already processing this webinar share funnel, which is fine. So this is exactly what you're going to see. Um, I've got the full suite, but when you log in, you'll see that you're on a 14 day trial and then it'll show you exactly what your count is. Um, it'll show you the share funnels being processed and then all you have to do is click view funnel. And if you're new to ClickFunnels, I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough really quickly showing you exactly how this is done. Your link that you're going to end up sharing is this link up at the top where it says copy URL to clipboard, okay? You can also visit and see what the page looks like by clicking that arrow. And you notice right now it's pretty generic. I actually really like this template for creating webinars. I wanna show you the one that I have going right now. This webinar landing page converts, uh, it's converting right now at around 46%. And as you can see, it's very similar. I've got my title, my subtitle, the big button, my countdown, and then who am I? So this kind of side-by-side -side option right there, this actually converts really well. So that's why I'm sharing this one with you. And you can customize this, and I'm gonna show you how to customize it if you want it to look like mine. Uh, basically, all I did was I switched what was here on the right, and I just put it on the left. So you can do that if you want, okay? All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to click, actually, I'm gonna start you from the very top. This is how I have my clients set up all of their funnels. We essentially go step by step. The first thing you're gonna do is click settings, and then you're going to rename your funnel. So I'm gonna name this, since I've got now two webinar share funnels, I'm gonna make sure that I'm not sharing the wrong one, so I'm just gonna rename this, and I'll name it uh, CF Demo Webinar share funnel just so I know that I'm sharing this from the uh, demo that I'm doing then I wish to change this path you could change it to whatever you'd like so if you want to change it to just webinar that's fine um, I think I have a couple of pages that are already called webinars so I'm just gonna call this CF demo webinar um, and then what I do at this point is I copy this and then I'll scroll all the way to the bottom and I'll click save and update settings. So there's a reason that I copy this and I'm gonna tell you why. The next thing I do is I click this publishing tab and then I'm gonna go here under the funnel step name and name it the name of my webinar. 
So let's assume you're doing a webinar about uh, how to lose 10 pounds in 30 days. Well, you might call it 10 pounds in 30 days webinar, but since I don't have that title for this, I'm just gonna name it CF Demo Webinar, Demo Webinar, and I'm gonna paste the same path. And then what I'll do is I like to switch it up just a little bit and add like a dash one or something like that. It can't be exactly the same. And if you make it the same, ClickFunnels will automatically add like a string of letters and dashes and whatever. So I just usually do something like this. Then I click update funnel step and that will update the name. You notice right in the middle, it says CF demo webinar. Um, I just recorded a video on how to get webinar registrations and how many times I said webinar registrations, it was just unreal. So I'm gonna try uh, not to skip over my words. And the third thing that I do, and this is exactly how I walk my clients through it, I click this gear where it says edit page split test settings and then um, I paste that same path in there. Now this one you do want to be exactly the same. And then same thing at the top, type CF uh, demo registration. So what's gonna happen is if you have an add this event to your calendar button, it actually pulls the content that's in here where it says the name of the page. Um, it actually pulls this content. So a lot of times I'll see people create their webinar and then they'll have a button that says um, add this event to your calendar on the second page. But when someone does it inside of their calendar, you'll see the, the confirmation just says webinar registration. And you really want to make sure that you edit the title in there so it doesn't do that. All right, so now that I've got it looking the way that I want it to look, obviously if you have a custom domain, you can use the drop down in the settings tab in order to plug your custom domain into ClickFunnels. And I have a tutorial on how to do that, but I'm gonna click edit page and I'll get started with the editing. Now I'm probably gonna speed this next section up, so I'm not gonna talk a whole lot. Actually, I'm not gonna talk at all because I'm gonna clip right here and then I'm gonna speed the next section up. Now, I just wanna pause really quickly. This template comes where it says warning space is limited. And unless it's really limited, just delete this. It really doesn't help. Uh, this is just a personal opinion, but a personal pet peeve. But especially if you're doing a live webinar for free and you're using something like YouTube Live or Facebook Live, you've got unlimited spots. So there's no reason to say that it's not, it's limited. Okay, and now that we've created the landing page, don't exit out of this just yet. Uh, obviously, this is not a fully completed landing page. You need to include the copy that you're going to write, talking about what you're actually gonna share in the webinar. Obviously, you'll include a link to your terms of service, your privacy policy, but for the most part, we're pretty much done with this. If you wanted this top section to extend out a lot longer, the way that I have it um, on that page that I just showed you, all you would have to do is add a new section, make it a full width section, and you just drag it and drop it just like that. 
and then you can put this text in there by just clicking that up arrow and then it'll pop right up into that top section. Obviously you notice that I changed the SEO metadata title. So you want to make sure you change that. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click into integrations. Now, unless you already connected your convert kit or your email service provider in, it actually won't be an option here in the drop down. But if you have, all you do is click the integration and then you can choose your form. Now, the way that we do this is I'm going to pop right over to convert kit and I'm just going to log in and I'll click forms and then click create form, which is behind my image right there. You just click form, inline form, and then I usually just choose this clean form right here. And that's it. Um, I name it, so I'll name this CF demo webinar, and then I'll click the envelope, uncheck the box to send incentive email, and then save it. Okay, so it's really easy to do that. But now you wanna make sure that the email addresses that come into here are getting routed onto your actual list and not just staying stuck in the form. So in order to do that, you wanna set up a rule or automation. The visual automation is very simple. You just click automations, then new automation, and then I usually name it the same thing, so CF demo webinar. I'll click create automation when someone joins a form, and then I'm gonna choose the form that they're joining. I'm gonna add event. Once that event happens, I want to add a tag, and then I will create a tag that says CF uh, Demo Webinar. This really makes it easy for me to see who actually signed up for the webinar so that I'm sending them relevant information. Then you just wanna click this button to actually turn on the automation. So I'll go back and actually delete this all later because obviously it's not a real one that I need. So that's the next thing that you're gonna do. So you'll click here and subscribe to form and you'll notice that you've got your CF demo form there. So now you can click save and your landing page is done. That's step one. This is my most favorite part because I enjoy designing. But before you leave, I want you to make sure that you click the mobile tab and just make sure that it looks good on mobile. And as long as the way you like the way it looks on mobile, you can go ahead and exit out of that. All right, so we've created the landing page. We've linked the subscribers into our email service provider. And now we need to invite people. But before we do that, we wanna make sure that the thank you page or what they see after they register for the webinar is appealing. Now, obviously you don't want just this appealing, uh, you don't just want this template here. So you're gonna do the same thing here. You're gonna start with the SEO metadata. Always start there. Uh, go ahead and type in whatever you want for there. So you can just do thank you page, webinar thank you page, whatever you wanna type there. You don't necessarily need to include an image because people are not necessarily sharing this page. If they're gonna share, they're gonna share the top page, that first page. So go ahead and change the date, include your name, uh, whatever you'd like to change on here. Remember, it's really easy to just click and delete and move stuff around. One of the things that I was ever told how to do, and I wanted to make sure that I share that with you, is these columns. So if you notice, this color in the background uh, is not clickable, it's not draggable. You can't change it unless you do this sneaky trick. And this is, number one, realizing that it's a column. So you click on columns and then hover over each of those items until you find that that column is selected. So you notice that blue box is starting to hover over certain things, left column, right column. Now you can come in here and you can choose your color. Uh, you could change the background color, whatever you want to change it to. So that's just something that I feel like a lot of people gloss over or they never mention, and I could never figure out how to do it. And I had to play around with it until I figured it out. All right, so once again, we're going to check to make sure it looks good via mobile. And then if you like the way it looks via mobile, go ahead and exit out. So I'm not going to save that. I'm just going to get into step three, which is inviting people. The way that you do that is you're going to copy this URL to your clipboard. And then I usually just uh, open up a text file and I paste that in there just to make sure that I don't accidentally, uh, you know, uncopy it or something like that. And then I like to use ManyChat. You can also use your email list and email people. Here's an example of a notification that I actually sent out earlier because I'm doing a webinar uh, inside of YouTube today. But let me, I'm gonna pull it up for you really quickly so you can see it. 
there it is. So I sent out a quick text and I said, hey, name, I thought you'd like to know this. I'm doing a live training in a few hours at 6 p.m. Eastern. And then I included a button that they had to click or to, in order to basically confirm that they wanted the information. A lot of times in Messenger, people will just send conversations uh, that are very passive, like, hey, here's my stuff, here's my stuff. But it's important to understand that you want Messenger to feel very, like it does normally does, conversational. So I had them click a button about what, and then I said, we're gonna be talking about three proven psychological triggers to gain three clients in 30 days. I included the image, and I'm not sure if you can see this. I said, you can join me at 6 p.m. Eastern by tapping the link. Let me see if I can scroll down on this. And then I said, join training, I hope to, hope to see you there. Other ways that you can invite people are obviously you can share it on social media, you can share it inside of your Facebook groups, you can share it wherever you have a presence, wherever you have an audience. I like the mini chat list because you can actually build up a free list until you get to about 500 people. And I only have a list of about 900 people and I'm able to send a lot of traffic to the things that I want to send people to. The reason that I like mini chat for webinars versus trying to send an email blast or posting other places is that when you post on social media obviously with the algorithms like there's no guarantee that people are going to see it right away uh, sometimes I'll see people's posts like the day after they post it especially on Facebook or Instagram um, Twitter obviously is immediate but they have to be on Twitter when you post that link so I like messenger because it's a quick direct message and you can also do text message for example but it's easier to build up a Facebook messenger list because if you've got your Facebook page you can just start creating your freebies and sending them through Facebook messages messenger so I'm actually going to do another tutorial I think I have one already but if I don't I'll do another tutorial on how to start building a Facebook messenger list so that you can have much more powerful and impactful live webinars so um, I think that's it and we'll go to the outro all right, thank you so much for joining me for today's training. If you'd like more help with your webinar, especially if you want to use a webinar to book coaching clients, then you're definitely gonna wanna join me on my next training. In this training, I'll walk you through the process that I use to quickly write a persuasive webinar, how I use my webinars to book coaching clients, and how I get webinar registrations for very cheap so that it makes my return on investment that much higher. All you have to do is click the link in the description box in order to register, or you can go to you've got clients.com slash anti dash webinar in order to get started. If you have any questions on this process, or if you'd like more help, just leave your questions in the comment box below and let's get the conversation started. See you guys in the next one.